Hello humans and fur babies and welcome back to my channel. The pastime of collecting has been around for centuries. People collect anything from postage stamps, Barbie dolls, teapots, you name it, there's someone out there who collects it. Toenail clippings, navel fluff, wasp's nest. A very popular pastime starting in the 19th century was collecting souvenir spoons. This trend came from Europe and went into America and I don't know how long it took to get to Australia but my grandmother was also a cutelophile, a spoon collector. I inherited my grandmother's collection of souvenir spoons and for the past while they've been sitting in a bag in a drawer because I've not known how to display them. Typically souvenir spoons are displayed in a wooden cabinet with a glass front hanging vertically and you know it's not really my style it's a little bit so I've gone through my spoon and fork collection that I inherited from my grandmother and I've chosen my favorite ones to display so in today's video I'm going to try and present the souvenir spoon slash forks in a more creative artistic modern way I want to respect the fact that my traveling grandmother bought these items when she was traveling to commemorate her journey because I'm a traveler and I want to pay homage to that. So sit back and watch me try and make these spoons cool again. Spoons, spoons, I love spoons, 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 I love spoons. <laughs> So I purchased some shadow boxes from Facebook Marketplace and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the back, let me do that, and I've also purchased some balsa wood. Balsa wood's great because it's dense and it's soft so it's easy to stick things into. And I'm going to glue the balsa wood onto this back panel here and then I'm going to use bobby pins to place the spins into various positions. So I'm going to cut them down like this and make little stays. So I can push that into the balsa wood and basically form any position I want and the pins are going to keep them in position. It's amazing. Firstly though, I'm going to glue the balsa wood to the back panel, paint it all white. I'm also going to paint this frame white. Then I can start playing around with the spoons. So I'm going to glue this and while the uh, glue is drying, I'm going to get to polishing all the spoons. I've done two layers of the white paint. Um, now before I do a couple of layers of spray paint because I want to get a really even surface I wanted to test the design on the white so let me do that and we'll see how we go I quite like the design I haven't painted this yet but I'm going to do that white I'm just not loving how that looks. I wanted to try like a metallic charcoal. So there's something about that I quite like. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is paint this white and then have another look at this. Nah, don't like it. Nah, don't like that either. I ended up painting the inside of the frame black and I also painted the backboard black and I think it looks way better, matte black. Now I'm gonna start putting the spoons on. So I, I laid all the spoons and forks out and then got the position of the top three forks how I wanted it. Then I'm just making sure that everything's centered and well spaced and even. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you how I attach the spoons to the backboard. So cutting off the bobby pin with enough space to go in the board and also loop around the spoon. Then getting the position and pushing it in with a smaller pair of pliers and then pushing it the rest of the way in with my thumb. So I make sure that I find the points on the spoon that are going to lock it in the best. 
and do it for all of the utensils. Going over all of the pins one more time just to secure them in, make sure nothing's moving around and it's ready to frame. I actually liked the end result so much I went back through and made another one and made a different spoon layout. Also with the spoons that weren't used in the artworks, I polished them up, made a little pouch and now I have somewhere to store them in safekeeping. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And put in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to see me upcycle in a future video.